all cell phones and electronic devices and rise for the moment of silence and pledge of allegiance. tickets as soon as you hit Broadway. Um, that was just fantastic and I am so proud of you for volunteering your time and, and coming here and guess what, you're not home on a video game or on your phone and I think you are a rock star. So here is a certificate for you for uh, coming here and, and really just doing such a fabulous job. Okay, you're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, Logan, and thank you, Janet, for bringing Logan. We really appreciate that. Uh, no speakers, Gene, did you say, or one? Okay, no speakers beforehand, so attendance. Roll call. Benelli? Here. Paduke? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Kulisek? Here. Luhan? Present. Menuda? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Ruskevich? Here. Sassy? Here. Sierra? Staganga? Here. Sutherland? Here. Tautel? Here. Tui? Here. Bureau? Here. Freshman? Here. 21 president. Majority Leader Bernal? Here. Oh. Okay. Not, not ahead of time. There is one or two. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I would ask to move collectively on agenda items number eight and nine. 10 through 13, 26 and 27, 29 through 31, 35 and 36, 37 and 38, and 47 through 72. And these are tax resolutions. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, no. Okay. So then I will amend that request for items number 47 through 78. Okay. 
All favor? Aye. 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 Those carried. Okay. Um, we're on to number one. Oh, I'm sorry. Withdrawals, referrals, consents? <coughs> displaying a red visual signal and stop arm. I res uh, respectfully ask that um, both Republicans be sponsored this. Of course, Democrats as well, and independents as well. Okay, discussion? Go call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, <coughs> Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. And number three. Legislators Benton and Menuda, resolution amending and reaffirming the Orange County investment policy. Pursuant to Article 3, Section 3.02D of the Orange County Charter and Section 39 of the New York State General Municipal Law. Second. Discussion? Local. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. And number four. Legislators of Benton and Kulisek. Resolution increasing the petty cash fund of the Orange County Department of Finance. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Baggione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Legislators Benton and Paduke, resolution allowing the Department of Finance to transfer any unspent revenues from completed capital projects. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. And number six? Legislators Benton and Hines, resolution allowing the Commissioner of Finance and Budget Director to adjust capital, project budgets, and unissued bonds. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number seven. Legislators Benton and Sutherland, resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Resolution of the County of Orange, New York, pursuant to section 5100 of a local finance law, repealing in part various partially unissued bond authorizations of certain bond resolutions of said county, which authorize the issuance of bonds to finance various improvements in and for the county. Second. Discussion? Benelli? Yes. 
Faduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Benton and Anagnostakis, resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Number nine. Legislator Benton, resolution pursuant to real property tax law section 558, directing the cancellation of certain taxes which have been rendered unenforceable. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 10 through 13 collectively. Roll call. Yes. Right. Added to all. Kevin Darian added to all. And Joel added to all. To all excuse me. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? <coughs> Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Number 14. Legislators Kulasek and Minuta, resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under the State Environmental Quality Review Act, CEQA, with respect to the replacement of Orange Spring Bridge in the town of Mount Hope, classifying the action as an unlisted action and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Number 15. Legislators Menuda, Tui, Benton, Sutherland. Amending bond resolution dated December 5, 2019. Amending the bond resolution adopted April 7, 2017 in relation to the replacement of Orange Spring Bridge in the town of Mount Hope. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Menuda, Riskevich, and Paduk. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Department of Public Works to adjust the tip fee surcharge for recycling commodities. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 17. Legislators Minuta, Tui, Benton, and Hines. Resolution making supplemental appropriation to the 2019 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities, and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 18. Legislators Paduk, Menuda, Benton, and Anagnostakis. 
Resolution allowing the Department of Public Works to accept state revenue pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Bureau, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, 19. Legislators Minuta, Benton, Sutherland. Bond resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of equipment for transfer station number one, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 185,800, appropriating set amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 185, 1,800 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Oh, yes, Kevin Darian. Added. Added. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 21. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. It skipped by me because I was just sorting through papers. I should have abstained on uh, number 16, so can my vote be corrected? Yes, so be it. Number 16 would be 20 eyes, one abstention. 21? 20, I'm sorry. Legislators Minuta, Ruskevich, Benton, and Paduke. Bond resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the renovation of transfer station number three for the Department of Public Works, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 30,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 30,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Ragione added. Other discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 21. Legislators Tui, Benton, and Menuda, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Second. Majority Leader? Please add one. Okay, Benelli added. Totel added. Okay, roll call. <laughs> Wuhan added. Okay, I see the hand up, okay. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 22. Legislators Menuda, Kulisek, and Benton. Bond resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the preparation of surveys, preliminary and detailed plans, specifications and estimates necessary for the EFNS administration, DPW edition, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 200,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 200,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Please add one. Okay, Benelli added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 23. Legislators Benton, Kulisek, and Sutherland. Amending bond resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Amending the bond resolution adopted September 6, 2018 in relation to the rehabilitation replacement of Graham Line Bridge in the town of Mount Hope. Second. Discussion? Roll call. 
Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. 24. Legislators Tui, Minuta, Benton, Hines. Bond resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of improvements to various county owned bridges, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 500,000 appropriating set amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 500,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Okay. Right. Discussion? Okay. okay, the three, Wuhan, Tartel, and Staganga added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. 25. Legislators Menuda, Benton, Sutherland. Bond resolution dated December 5th, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of site distance improvements to various county roads, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 150000 appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Yes. Discussion? Yes, three, uh, three again. Lujan, Totel, and Staganga. Added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 2627 collectively, roll call. Benelli? Right, well, you want, I'm sorry. Yes, would you add all Republicans? Yes, I'm sorry, I jumped the gun. All Democrats too? Or? On both? You want to? I want to make a comment too. Okay. But you want to all Democrats too? Yes, all Democrats as okay. well, please. Thank you. Comment, go ahead. <clears throat> You know, in regards to our resolutions, we have all this sophisticated equipment here that we purchased in this government center. On the board, we have the bond resolution. Now, uh, I mean, all the resolutions on the board, but we don't actually put the resolution up there. So the people out there don't know that this award that we're accepting is for $35,600 for violence against women. I think it's important that we give all of them the information, not just the heading. So if there's a way we got such sophisticated equipment, why can't we just slide each one? The people at home will be able to see it, and everybody have a little bit more knowledge in regards to what we're trying to accomplish here. Not as sophisticated as we thought. Uh, Mr. Paduk, uh, with uh, deep respect, uh, we are in the process of uh, creating a uh, program. We uh, hired a uh, software company called iCompass, and we are working with them. It's a little complicated though, uh, because we have to start with the legislative request. Um, and so we will, we're hoping that by next spring, uh, we'll be able to uh, flash up the resolutions as well as the agendas. Uh, and then as an added bonus, you can vote electronically. Okay, well, I, you know, it, it's nice after the fact, the fact is that we could have done a better job in this in, in this whole building, and the fact that we have this sophisticated equipment sitting in front of us to use as a microphone, it's pretty embarrassing. Actually, that we spent all this money on it and can't do anything with it. As of now, we have to hire someone else to complete it. So, I mean, I, I think that's great that it's going to be coming to that, but we got to work on doing a better job on these capital projects. I'm off. Did somebody else, Laura? You had your hand up too. To be added, okay, you're, you're added, so. Um, go ahead, Tom Fagione next, and then you, Jim. All, all, all Dems, yeah. All Dems are added. Do you want independence added, too? Yeah. Everybody's added, good. Okay. Um, Chairman, thank you. I would just like to say that uh, since I, my appointment in 2015 and uh, my lucky election in 15 and then again in 17, I've taken an active role in uh, working in this legislature to advance so much of the technology that is uh, readily available out there. Many of us have our own personal cell phones as well as county cell phones and we've been lucky enough to uh, actually now receive tablets that we are using here in the legislature 
And uh, to you, Mr. Paduk, I agree with you that, you know, we are moving in the right step, in the right direction, and I am 100% active and more encouraged by what we see here today. And at the moment, you just said that. I looked into the audience and I watched spectators actually looking at the big screen out there, which months ago was black. So we are making steps forward, and I encourage to reach across the aisle with you and work with you to bring more technology to the table. We waste reams and reams and reams of paper every month. Our staff works tirelessly to pre pre present all this information on paper. The technology is here, and it is getting better. And to our legislative council, I thank her for also being one of the most important people on this, and our clerk as well. So we are moving forward, and you and I can talk after the meeting and going forward, and we'll bring all the information out there, not just here, but also in committee meetings as well. So I, I'm encouraged by your comments, and we are moving forward. Thank you, Chairman. Yes, Caucus Leader Amo. Uh, just a comment, I, I do agree with Mr. Mr. Perduke, and and with one thing we put on the list, Mr. Paduk, is they remove these ridiculous things so we get our paper on the tree. <laughs> I have no idea what it's for, but it takes half the desk up. I hear you. Yes, Legislator Chantel. I just had a conversation about these things, which I've been talking about since we took office with our attorney, and they're inadequate at best, positioned completely wrong that you can't even fit a sheet of paper in front of them. And they should also include a voting button that would make it easier on our legislative staff that would have an automatic electronic recording if we're talking about upgrading these. This is, I mean, and the position of them is awful. As part of the software, Gene tells me. And also, Antoinette reminded me that we're live streaming, so we're getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> so. Yes, Joe, you want to say something? Real quick, since we're off topic, uh, is everybody comfortable in this room? Yes. Eating, cooling, yes. Excellent. You had a little bit to do with that, right, Thank Joe? You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, where were we? We ready for roll call now, right? <laughs> roll call, 26 and 27. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. And number 28. Legislators Tortell and Amo, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate funds from the National Institute on Drug, Abru uh, Drug, Drug Abuse, pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law in section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Okay, yes, uh, Luan added. Two we added, a Sutherland added, a Stagenga added. A roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stagenga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Yes, absolutely. Sassy added. 29 to 31, uh, we vote collectively. Um, anybody wants to be added to a tell, added to all. Um, you just need to be added on 31 on 29 for uh, Okay, 30, 29 for Tautel? I'm on 29 to 31. 31 for Tautel. You asked again, go all three. Lujan? All three. All three. Sutherland? 29 and 30. 29 and 30. Duke? All three. All three. Sierra? All three. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 32. Legislators Tartell and Tui, resolution confirming the reappointment of Darcy Miller as commissioner of the Orange County Department of Social Services by the county executive, pursuant to section 11.01 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Bureau added. Uh, Majority Leader Benelli. I would request to be added to this, and I'd also like to commend the performance of the job that Dr. Miller has done as the um, director of services. Um, Orange County Director of Social Services. Um, she's been on double duty here and she's done a remarkable job. I don't know if she's in the audience, but I do want to commend her. 
Um, she's done a great job. And I, quite frankly, don't know too many people that could take on the tasks that she's had to uh, endure through her tenure in this particular position. And um, I enjoy working with her, and I look forward to continuing to work with her in the future. Congratulations, Marcy. Legislator Sassy? Um, no, I did not. Okay. I, O'Donnell, Sassy, Hines, Tui, Stuganga. <coughs> Emo, Benton, Anangastakis, Sutherland, Kulisek, Ruskevich, Cheney, the Duke, <laughs> and Minuta. Okay. Sassy, is that all you wanted, Rob? Sierra, too, I'm sorry. I forgot you, Joel, sorry. <laughs> I'm not looking as wide as I asked. Okay, do you just want to say something to her? You good? Uh, no, I'd just like to echo uh, Majority Leader. Uh, Benelli's comments about uh, Commissioner Miller. I think Orange County is extremely fortunate to have uh, an excellent workforce, but an exceptional workforce with Darcy Miller and her professionalism and her ability to get things done. So I look forward to working with Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Darcy Miller. Thank you. Okay. All right. I would just like to echo those comments too. Darcy's been a fantastic commissioner in both, uh, both uh, divisions and she always gets back to me right away and very thorough at committee and meticulous and follow up and everything, all nine yards. So she's definitely a great lady. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagdastakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Bureau of Russia, 21 eyes. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, number 33. Legislators Totel and O'Donnell, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Social Services to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Victim Services pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Cool, a sec added? Yes, you can. Sutherland added, Bureau added, Stagenga, Sierra, Lujan, Paduk. Thank you. Hey, everybody? Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Cool, sec. Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. And number 34. Legislators O'Donnell and Totel, resolution authorizing the county executive to accept a certain gift on behalf of the Orange County Office for the Aging, pursuant to section 215 of the county law. Discussion? Duke added, yeah. Roll call. Oh, Sassy added, too. I'm sorry. Roll call. Benelli? Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 35 through 38 collectively? 35 through 36. Oh, okay. Then 37 and 38 collectively. Okay, 35 and 36 collectively. Um, anybody want to be added to those? Okay, Totel? Minuta, Sierra, Lujan, Staganga, and Paduka, and Sassy. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, 37, 38 collectively. Roll call. Anybody want to be added first? Okay. <laughs> Luan, Totel, Stigang that whole row, right? That, that whole row over there. You got them? <laughs> and two, uh, two we added to 36. Okay. And Sassy added to 30, right now or 36? Right now. This one, 37, 38. 
Yep. Okay. Sutherland 37, 38. Okay. Sorry about that. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 39. Legislators Tortell, Steganga, Benton, and Paduk. Resolution confirming the appointment of Eric Rusher as Director of Real Property Tax Service for Orange County by the County Executive pursuant to Section 5.05 .05 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Vero added, Kulisek added, Nelly added. I'd also like to um, thank Mr. Rusher for his uh, professionalism as well. And I'd like to commend the County Executive for this choice as well as the reappointment of Darcy Miller. Um, it's a logical choice for oh. Eric <laughs> to, um, okay. Eric. <laughs> so, with that, there is Eric. <laughs> Um, I think he hit the ground running. He's always been behind the scenes. He's had some huge shoes to fill with the retirement of John McCary, uh, but he stepped up to the plate at the very first meeting, and quite frankly, he's made some little changes that I've noticed at Ways and Means, and he's making the job his own, and I congratulate you on that. I look forward to working with you, Eric. Okay, anybody else? Okay, Paul, and then Lori, and then Kevin. Oh, Kevin added, okay. Well, Paul just added, Lori added, okay. O'Donnell, Sassy, Benton, Anagnostakis, Amo, <laughs> Tui, Sierra. Is there anybody who doesn't want to be added? Okay, everybody added. Okay, Totel, go ahead, Lori. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to commend uh, him also. Uh, as I had said in committee when we were reviewing the appointment, we did not notice any hiccups or anything. Everything went smoothly, even while Mr. McCary was out ill, and then since he's been uh, retired. So I commend you on being able that, to keep that smooth transition and keep everything running, especially during a time when everything is fluctuated with taxes and reassessments are happening. So thank you. I agree. I just have to say, I, I heard it. I missed the committee meeting where Eric was appointed. Uh, at Ways and Means, but I guess on the one sheet it says he meets the minimum standards of the state of New York, and that's kind of insulting because we, we know better. We know that uh, Eric is an exceptional person. Um, you know, the county exec, usually we want to be more involved in the appointment of commissioners, but he brought us Eric's name a while ago, and Eric wasn't going to accept. It took a long time. He was playing hard to get, but he finally acquiesced. <laughs> and uh, John, he has the endorsement of John McCary 100%. Um, he's the man for the job, and we hope he stays for a few years. Um, Eric, you have impeccable credentials, as Katie said, professionalism. Um, we're happy you're going to take this job. Congratulations. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 41. Legislators Steganga, Totel, and Tui, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to abolish social welfare examiner and create support investigator at the Orange County Department of Social Services, pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 41. Legislators Tortell, Lujan, and Tui, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to amend Act Number 35 of 2001 at the Orange County Department of Health to add an, that an early intervention service coordinator position is grant funded, pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Sierra added. 
Yep, no problem. No problem. Vanelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 42. Legislator Benton, resolution finally adopting the proposed budget of, the Or of Orange County for the year 2020, pursuant to section 360 of county law and section 4.07 of the Orange County Charter and section 4-12 of the Administrative Code. Second. Discussion? Yes, uh, what? Minority Leader Padu. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd just like to make a few comments regarding uh, the budget process. This year during our statutory committee meetings, I made many proposals to reduce taxation. I presented all of you with a document from our auditors that showed the department's three-year spending trends. By reviewing these documents, <clears throat> excuse me, by reviewing these spending trends, you could determine how much money was actually needed to maintain and even improve services for our constituents. These documents identified overestimated expenses that we taxed residents on and at year's end deposited into our $56 million fund balance. By overestimating expenses, and taxing residents on those amounts, we are essentially robbing money to continue to increase our fund balance. With projections by the current administration, we will be returning over 13 million more in the 219, from this 219 budget. In this budget, we also had 200 positions that are funded but not filled, which totaled around $15 million in taxation. The county executive, after his review with the department heads, had not allowed, a few he did, but not allowed hardly any of them to be filled. So I propose, with the support of my Democratic colleagues, to eliminate 17 of those 200 positions, saving the taxpayers over $1.1 million in taxation for 2020. Not one of my Republican or Independence colleagues supported cutting taxes despite having the information from our auditors and our budget director, once again, allowing money to be robbed from our taxpayers. I've been a legislator for 22 years, and every year I look to make our budget process just a little bit better by encouraging my colleagues to look at the bigger picture and providing ideas and information to make that happen. As the minority leader, I'm very proud to work with all the members of the Democratic Caucus who recognize the importance of delivering the best budget possible for Orange County while continuing to move our county forward. And I want to thank legislators Kulusek, Tutel, Sierra, and Luhan for their hard work and support. And uh, I'd also like to thank our budget de director, Deb Slazinski, and her staff for all the help and support I've received from them this year. Okay. Yes, Legislator O'Donnell. Thank you, Chairman. Just uh, everybody on this side knows how important the fund balance is to our bond rating, which saves the taxpayers money. Right? We've had this discussion before, but I'm glad you brought it up for the public to hear. So the fund balance is critical to our bond rating, which is critical to saving the taxpayers money. So that's what went into the budget. Thank you. Majority okay. Leader Benelli, then Legislator Anagnostakis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you for the comments, Mr. O O'Donnell. Um, it was my sentiments as well. Um, but I wanted to recognize the efforts of Minority Leader Padu. Um, while we have a difference of philosophy when it comes to this particular issue, um, there were many times throughout the budget process throughout the month of October that, and even before that, that both of us worked together on creating a form that was circulated to some of the agencies that we help fund every particular year. And we worked very well on preparing all of that. And we got a lot of information and we learned a lot. Each and every year that I've been here, and I'm sure Mr. Paduk will agree, we've learned something new every year. And especially in the last few years. And we've all come together to come to an understanding of exactly how we want to be able to present the financial picture for the following year. And part of that is keeping in mind the fund balance and keeping in mind our bond rating. 
So while we do disagree with that, I do want to thank you very much for working with me on being able to get all of that information. And I thank each and every one of my colleagues in the legislature who worked very hard and very, very diligently to really prepare a budget that the taxpayers could absorb. Thank you. Senator Nagstocks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to thank the minority leader for his efforts and his work. It, um, I appreciate it. Um, he didn't get the vote that he wanted on the floor, unfortunately, to reduce certain line items more than were in the budget. But that's a democratic process. But I, I, I didn't like one phrase that I thought I heard in there that implied that no one on the Republican or independent side did anything to help the taxpayers. I know that every single legislator that uh, serves Orange County always attempts to do their best for the taxpayers. And I know that I always have done that. And I take pride in coming up with line items every year that reduces taxes. One in particular this year, 300,000. I take pride in my effort for five years to diligently hunt that fund balance that I knew existed at Valley View of over 50 million when I had everyone telling me that there was nothing there. I want to thank Legislator Benton for helping me uncover that. So I know Republicans and I know that independents are working just as hard as Mr. Paducah is to try to do the best for taxpayers. I certainly am uh, happy with the effort that we all put in. Thank you. Legislator Tuttle, Ben Hines. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, I do believe we worked hard on this budget as a legislative body. I will be a no vote because I feel that we had a failure of this legislative body to significantly reduce the budget presented to us by the county executive. Based on the report just mentioned by Minority Leader Paduke, which all of us has had for the budget process, and which I cited at all the statutory committee budget hearings, we have consistently overtaxed the residents of this county by as much as a 160% in one department, according to the report. I understand the budgeting process and that there needs to be a cushion that, if not needed, will go into the county fund balance, which in 2018 was $56,664,523. What I don't understand is consistently over taxation of our already overburdened residents, so I will be a no on this vote. Legislator Hines. Yes, thank you. I'd just like to remind my colleagues, if you vote no to the budget, it goes back to the way the county executive proposed it to us, which I guess is fine, but all our adjustments would be out the window if you voted that way. Um, I uh, think that everybody worked hard on this budget. I think the county executive's office and his staff did a great job putting it together with the department heads. If you think about it, we stayed under the tax cap, which some people might say is very easy, but it's really not because you have to deal with uh, union contracts that the executive branch has settled across the board. Uh, so all our uh, workers were getting raises, and to try to stay within the tax cap when you're giving everybody a 2% raise makes it very difficult since most of our budget goes to payroll. Uh, then we have to deal with all the unfunded mandates that are dictated down to us from Albany, uh, where uh, I just look at the public safety budget, for instance, you look at tremendous changes that we've made to this budget to justify and to try to keep our residents safe while the state uh, elected officials want to uh, just throw out the criminal justice system as we know it. Uh, so it's a very difficult process. I think the county exec did a great job, and I think all the individual uh, committees did a great job because there are a lot of changes to the budget. And we stayed within the tax cap, and uh, so I think that this legislature did a good job across the board. Thank you. Legislator Minuta. Thank you, Chairman. When you understand finance with regard to government entities, you realize that you do need the tax cap. And so I'd like to thank, oh, not, excuse me, not the tax cap, but um, the fund balance. And these types of things keep our government functioning. Every single person on this committee uh, for the legislature has worked diligently to review the budget, go through it. I think the county exec did a good job. I think we did a good job through balancing that, uh, scratching some of these surface items uh, on the on the surface simply looks like wow this is a great amount of money that we can save but when you really look at the deeper picture of how the government funding works and how our budget works you realize that we do need those monies there 
So I do commend uh, the minority leader for his efforts. I would like to see those move forward in the future and perhaps provide them uh, a much deeper um, drill down as to all of these types of things and to have those early on as well as verified and certified by those who are the experts within our administration of what his thoughts would be. Uh, we didn't receive that this go around. So again, thank you very much. I just have to say that, uh, is there another speaker? Okay, yes, Slip Slater Luhan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I too want to commend the efforts of, of our minority leader. You know, when, when I was in that meeting, we were talking about 200 positions, 200 positions um, that were not going to be uh, filled. And, and when I think about the communities across Orange County, communities that are you know, really trying to uh, watch how much they're spending in their communities, communities like the city of Newburgh, um, but so many others across Orange County, I think it's a responsibility for us to really be making sure that if we can uh, sort in or, or, or spend more, less money in some of these departments, we should be doing so. So I commend a minority leader on that. And $1.1 million, that's what he was offering. You know, 17 positions out of 200. That's, that's nothing. And I think that some person, someone said, well, it's, it's peanuts and it's such a large budget. But I say to myself, $1 million is a few positions that, that we could be using. Um, positions that could be helping uh, for housing, positions that could be used in, in for, for public safety. Um, there are so many things we could be using for, the, for, that, for that money. And so, again, I, I want to just commend you because it is so great to see uh, someone who's trying to be fiscally conservative on, on an issue as, as important as this. We, need, we, we owe it to our taxpayers, we owe it to our constituents. That is why we're here. If we have to go line by line, we should do it. And I commend any other legislator from all parties who has done that across the years. Um, but again, I think that you, you really took um, great attention to this, um, as you always do. And, and I just want to commend you for that. Thank you so much, my Leader. Legislator Sierra. Thank you. I just want to start off saying that I, I agree with all of my colleagues. Um, I know we tried something differently this year. Uh, we got some added information. We met tirelessly for hours on end going over this budget. Um, I know we had some public safety meetings and we had some, some issues. We made some changes to the county exec's budget. And uh, it was my intent to vote down on the budget. I know one of our primary jobs on this council is to vote for the budget. But I also have major concerns with the changes that are coming next year. I've been in government since 05. I was finance chairman for almost 10 years in the city of Middletown. And I understand that we don't have the luxury to shut down departments, to shut down the government, to, and to keep services coming. You know, that's one of our primary jobs on this council is to keep public safe to keep our services coming. And I don't know what the changes coming next year, what's, what's entailed. I know we have a strong general fund, and our fund balance is strong, and our ratings, and I understand that, but putting all that aside, it's been a pleasure working across the aisle with all of you, with my, cal of my caucus, and I have a certain level of fear of what's coming ahead, so. That being said, I will be voting for this budget. And I thank all of you for all the hard work and all the hours that we put in. But now with this new information that we are receiving from the auditors, I expect us all to work together again in the 2020 budget. And I am looking forward to eliminating some of these positions. But for this year's budget, I understand we're in a time crunch and this budget has to be passed with the changes that are coming. So I will be voting. You want me to clarify that the positions are vacant positions. Right. They're not filled they with individuals. Individual. They're not individual positions. Yeah, or there's no individuals in the positions, correct? Right. Okay. I just have to say that we're voting on a budget that comes in below the cap, and that is what we are directed to do. That's what we're judged upon in today's world since 2011. Um, and I commend Mike for looking at the budget. He scrutinized it over the last three or four years much more closely than before that. Um, but to say that we're robbing the taxpayers is just naive um, and irresponsible to even say that. It, we're not robbing the taxpayers. This is their money in this budget. No matter how we spend it, we're not just
going out and opening up their, their checkbook and writing checks. You know, we have infrastructure improvements. We have state mandates to deal with now um, from the liberal, liberal Senate and Assembly that we're dealing with and the governor that, of things that they don't help us with, with the uh, mandate relief. I mean, this is, a, this is a fair budget. And Mike, I have to say, you voted on many budgets in the last 20, how many years, 22, 24, that have a higher fund balance, much, had a much higher fund balance than we're voting on in this budget today. So, I mean, it's kind of a double standard, but I, I commend you for looking at things, ways to save money, because we're always looking for ways to save money. But once you start affecting that fund balance, as Jim O'Donnell said, then you're gonna end up with the predicament that the city of Newburgh has today. Okay, they're looking to save money, but they're losing 30 to 40 positions in the city of Newburgh because they didn't build up a healthy enough fund balance, whether it was, however they did it, whether it was unfunded positions, I mean, positions that they didn't fill or, or having capital reserve properly, however they did it, they didn't keep a healthy enough fund balance. So if we start doing these little pick away things that affect the fund balance, we're not gonna be, be in a position where we can uh, stay below the cap next year. Roll call. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, just a point, uh, I, I know how important the fund balance is, and I know we need a fund balance. All my proposals look to cut the return of a budget to our fund balance. You talked about how we need such a strong fund balance. Let me just remind you, in 216 to 217 budget, we added $7 million to our fund balance. In 218, we added $6.4 million. My proposals are looking to cut the additions the additions to the fund balance by doing a, a better job. I've said it every year that I talk about it, I know we need a fund balance. It's important to have the fund balance. I, and when I say robbing money, if we could supplement our fund balance and keep it stable, I'd be fine with that. But by adding 7 million, 6 million, maybe 13 million, which is projected for next year, I think we can do a better job. And I think, it, in my opinion, we are robbing money that we really don't need to to use to supplement our balance when we can supplement it to keep it stable. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, we're adopting a responsible budget, so you and I can agree to disagree on robbing the taxpayers. Yes, Legislator O'Donnell. Yeah, once again, you state that we increased the fund balance on two separate occasions, and that's why our bond rating improved. Thank you, Jim. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? No. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, yes. Cheney, Fagione, yes. Hines, Kulisek, no. Luhan, no. Menuda, yes. O'Donnell, yes. Riskevich, yes. Sassy, yes. Sierra, Staganka, yes. Sutherland, yes. Tortel, no. Tui, yes. Bureau, yes. Brescia. Yes. 17 eyes or no's. Number 43. Legislator Benton, resolution making appropriations for the conduct of the government of Orange County, Orange County Social Services District, Orange County Sewer District Number One, the Orange County Small Watershed Protection District Number One for Cromline Creek, and the Beaver Dam Lake District for the fiscal year 2020, pursuant to sections 356 and 360 of the county law, and sections 4-8 and 4-9B of the Orange County Administrative Code. Second. Discussion. Euro added. Uh, Stiganga added, roll call, and Tartel added, and or, Minuta. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? <coughs> Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Bureau, Brescia, 21 eyes. Number 44. Legislator Benton, resolution providing for the raising of taxes required by the Orange County budget for general government purposes, social services district purposes, Orange County sewer district number one purposes, Orange County small watershed protection district number one for Cromline Creek purposes, and Beaver Dam Lake district purpose, purposes, and levying taxes pursuant to section 360 of the county law, section 900 of the real property tax law, and section 4.08 of the Orange County Charter and Administrative Code. Discussion, Bureau added. Roll call. 
Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Faggio? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? No. Ma Minuta? Yes. O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartell? Tui, Vera, Brescia. 19 ayes, 2 noes. Number 45. Legislator Benton, resolution adopting the 2020 capital program pursuant to Orange County Charter Section 4.07. Thanks. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? <clears throat> Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, 1 no. Okay, what are we on? 46. 46, I'm sorry. Okay. Legislator Benton, resolution making appropriation to Cornell Cooperative Extension Association of Orange County pursuant to subdivision 8 of section 224 of the county law. Kulasek uh, cool added. Prescovich, Cheney, Sierra, Paduk, Tartel, Lujan, Stakenga, Sutherland. I miss anybody? Bureau, O'Donnell. Is there anybody that doesn't want to be added? <laughs> All right, everybody added. It would have been easier, probably, right? Uh, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yep. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek. Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 47 through 78 collectively. Second. So we need to add anybody individually? No, probably not. Right? <laughs> Tax resolutions. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, we have one speaker, Patrick Cousins, uh, with respect to the New Newburgh City budget. He wants to speak. He's from the Democratic Party. Hi, thank you very much uh, for letting me speak. Um, my name is Patrick Cousins. I'm a resident of the city of Newburgh. As an investor in the city of Newburgh, I've purchased two buildings. One is completely renovated, and I've been released of the covenant, and I have a rental license, and I house tenants who are hardworking, low-income citizens. I'm here to address the issue of the impending Armageddon in the city of Newburgh as a result of our recent city budget, which has been approved by our city council. Public safety is of the highest concern of the executive and the city council of the city of Newburgh. In 2009, the city of Newburgh bought, borrowed $15 million to pull itself out of insolvency. We'll be paying on that loan until 2024. Again, the city is working under a cloud of debt as all municipalities are throughout this whole country. Faced with a $40, $47 million budget, 75% of our budget is earmarked for public safety and judicial re reform. Newburgh has decided to pivot and reset and turn away from the heavy debt and borrowing and tackle this emergency head on. This action will help preserve one of two professionally trained fire departments in Orange County. This action is gonna preserve a fire department that's professionally trained in Orange County. This action taken by the dedicated men and women of the executive and the city council of Newburgh helps to preserve our four man platoons, minimum staffing levels, uh, and one of the most highly trained, dedicated police forces in Orange County. This action is preserving a dedicated police force in, of, uh, of highly trained people in Orange County. All of these are well-paid union jobs with benefits and retirements. Um, I have a clock. Three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, we have been assured that systems have been put into place to monitor overtime. 
This will ensure that the solvency of the city that supplies mutual aid throughout Orange County with firefighting and police and education. That's mutual aid. This is, a, this is part of our budget is helping everybody. Uh, and most importantly, this solvency, if we can stay solvent, this city can stay solvent. One of the uh, important parts of the Newburgh identity is our wraparound services. We have mental health, we have uh, housing, we have transportation help, we have drug rehab, we have uh, a huge at-risk community that we are taking care of. And, and th this at-risk community comes from all over Orange County. Um, borrowing without economic sustainable plans leads to more insolvency. And, it, and, and worse, it can lead to receivership. And then at receivership, all union contracts are out the window. All benefits are out the window. When, 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 you, lose, when you lose your sustainability, you cannot take care of anybody. But we're, we're here trying to help take care of the, uh, the whole, well, not taking care of the whole county, but we're helping uh, at-risk people. As always, Newburgh looks for ways to collaborate with the county in ways that would benefit all departments that have been providing services to municipalities outside the city. Uh, thank you. One, one other thing real quick. Newburgh has a robust committee working on the 2020 census. We would like to reach out to all, all your municipalities and coordinate on this hefty task. And I have a phone number here of two people to get, try, to get in touch with if anybody in, in, their, in their community wants to reach out and work with us on that. Can I submit this to uh, somebody? Yes. Okay. I'm going to submit it to Kevin. Kevin, I'm here uh, 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 as one of Kevin Darion's people. Submit it to the court. Oh, you don't submit it to legislators. Thank you, though. Thank okay. You. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. And if anybody has any questions, I, I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you. Thank you. A motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. 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 I'm sorry, I didn't get my hand up in time. Um, excuse me a minute. Uh, I'd like to just make a comment. I, you know, I've lived in Orange County for 42 years, and this is such a sad day for Orange County. Many of you may or may not know this, but New York State's Attorney General has just brought a lawsuit against the town of Chester and the county of Orange for efforts of anti-discrimination on the Chester Greens project. It's all over the news. We have an Orange County black eye. I suspect they'll be on the front page of the New York Times tomorrow morning. It's just been announced, it came out that she did it. It's a sad day for Orange County.